Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be talking about using this battery tender OBD2 to SAE adapter to charge a car battery using a solar panel. So if you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description of the products I'm using. And if you use those links, it helps me out a little bit. It doesn't cost you anything extra. So the solar panel I'll be using is the center power 20 watt 12 volt panel. And this was provided to me for a previous video, but they have no association with this video. So this solar panel comes with three different ways to connect it. It comes with a 12 volt socket adapter. It comes with some clamps and it comes with a like a hardwired connection. So if you're putting this inside your vehicle, this would be the typical connector you'd use. But the problem is most modern cars are not going to supply power to the 12 volt socket when the car is off. Now I have wired in a socket that's hardwired to the battery that has constant power where I could use this, but the battery tender adapter is another option. This sends power through the OBD2 port. Now there could be cars where doing that would damage the car. I don't know. You really should research that on your own and see if this is going to be a safe option for you, but I feel it's safe for my car. This is limited to three amps so this has a three amp fuse so to calculate how many amps this is this is 20 watts and 12 volts so you take 20 divided by 12 and that would give you 1.6 amps so we're well under the limit so the obd2 adapter and the solar panel both have sae adapters now sometimes the polarity can be reversed and you can use some adapters like this and this is an sae polarity adapter and actually i thought the solar panel did have reverse polarity but it didn't as i found out but there's a way to check now on the battery tender adapter it has plus and minus here. It does not indicate that on the solar panel. You can use a meter to test that. Another easy way is with the clamps that came with it. So the clamps and the OBD2 adapter are both for connecting to the battery. If we look at the SAE connector, the female here is the plus. And if we look on the one that came with the solar panel, the red wire here is the plus on the female. These came with the solar panel, so I know it's compatible with the solar panel. But you could also hook a meter up to it to test it for polarity. You want to measure the voltage, and if it's negative, swap the terminals around, and then the one that is red is your positive, the one that's black is your negative. So this will work right off in the car. So I'll take the solar panel and I'll plug into this. And now I can plug this into my OBD2 port and I can put this somewhere where it catches the sun. So I'll head out to the car and I'll set this up. Okay, so I'm out here at my car and this is my 2000 Land Cruiser. So I have this plugged into the OBD2 port down here. So that's plugged into the solar panel. So I have the solar panel on my windshield. I'll cut to that. So you can see it here and this is facing south, which is the direction the sun is where I live. So I actually plugged this in this morning and I was getting 12.3 volts. So let's check it now. Now when you press these connectors together, you want to press them all the way, but I left them open a little bit so I could check the voltage. So it's currently at 12.63 volts. So I know it's charging. So this solution isn't meant to charge up a dead battery. It's meant to maintain a battery. So I don't drive this vehicle daily, so it helps to have a battery maintainer on it. And this is a very easy way to do a battery maintainer, especially using this OBD2 port, so I don't have to wire in a constant power source somewhere else. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.